Today I'm going to talk through the ITSI levels of food, levels 3 through to 7. However, if you want to skip ahead and miss one, please feel free and have a look at the timings and skip on. ITSI level 3, liquid eyes. The consistency should be smooth, free from any lumps, bits, skin, pips or seed. The way we test this is by taking our fork and we run the fork over the top of the product. It doesn't leave a clear indent. Liquid disperses back on itself. When we come to pick it up and eat it with a fork, we're unable to do so as all the liquid drips through the prongs of our forks. Then we take a small disposable teaspoon. With this, we should be able to pop it into our liquid and it should stand upright in the bowl. The liquid should have some viscosity so the spoon is able to stand straight up without tipping over. When we plate this particular level, it collapses on itself. Therefore, we can't pipe it, we can't layer it, we can't mold it, we can't shape it. ITSI level three, liquidized. ITSI level four. This particular texture has no lumps, no bits, no skin or no pith. It's completely smooth in texture. However, unlike level three, when we run our fork over the top of it this time, it leaves a clear indent in the product. When we come to pick the product up and eat it with a fork, we can do so. It stays on the fork. You may get a slight overhang on the bottom. This is absolutely fine. The other way of testing ITSI level four again is to use your teaspoon. To load the product onto the teaspoon and with a gentle flick, you should end up with little products left on the spoon. All of the products should fall off therefore it is not sticky. When we pop this particular texture on a plate, it now stands up, enabling us to pipe this, we can layer, we can mold and we can shape. So we can be a little bit more creative with this and start uh, putting more effort into our presentation. It's a level five, minced and moist. This particular texture, we test using our fork. The prongs of a fork from one to another of four millimeters in size. The particle size for each piece of food in this particular texture needs to be able to pass through one prong to the other. The way we test this is on a plate and using the prongs of a fork to make sure all the particles pass through. Like ITSI level four, level five can be tested also with a teaspoon. We load the teaspoon with a gentle flick it leaves a slight residual on the spoon. When we put it onto our plate, it stands up. We can pipe it, we can layer, we can mold, we can shape it. ITSI level five, minced and moist. ITSI level six, soft and bite size. This particular texture, we're looking for one and a half centimeters cubed from a particle size. This can be mashed and broken down with a fork. Be mindful of this when you're cooking stews and casseroles because chicken and steak will need to be crushed down and it will need to stay down. The way to test this level is by using a fork and a simple pressure test. We push down on the fork on the particle of food using our thumb and our nail should blanch slightly white. As we push down, it breaks down and it stays down. ITSI level six, soft and bite-sized. ITSI level seven, easy to chew. These are normal everyday foods that are soft and age appropriate. Avoid foods that are hard, crunchy, sticky. Foods with pips and seeds that have bone and gristle in there. A way of testing this is by using a fork and you should be able to break the food up very, very easily, cutting through it with the side of a fork. ITSI level seven, easy to chew. ITSI level seven, regular. All types of food, that are age appropriate with no restrictions. Can have skin, pips, and seeds in there. ITSI level seven, regular. When we talk about dysphagia and texture modified foods, it can be a challenge getting foods to the right consistency with leaching of vegetables and liquid separation of different types of foods. Breaks instant food thickener can help with this. You can use it in both hot and cold applications, sweet and savory. It has no nutritional value, it's colourless and it's tasteless. The one thing it will do is stick in your food and help your residents enjoy mealtimes. 
We really hope you found this video of interest. We also have an online training course which has been accredited by the Association for Nutritionists. This is available for you to use with any of your team in the home that spend time with food or residents. It's available by emailing nutrition at break.co.uk.